Hi everyone, this is Kevin from Minami Toys and I'm back with another video of my toy making process. This is my latest creation, the tumble top. It's the newest version of my rock paper scissors spin top. You may have heard about it before, but for those of you who haven't, it's basically what the name implies. How it works is you spin the top and once it stops, whichever hand is raised is the top's move. You can play against it, or if you have two you can play with a friend. It's a fun game to play either indoors or out. In this video, we'll focus on prototyping my design using 3D modeling and printing. This is part one of Let's Make a Toy, the prototype. It's been a goal of mine for some time now to learn 3D modeling as I was trained traditionally with clay and wax. I wanted to wait until I really got the hang of sculpting by hand before I tried doing it digitally. This was in order to develop my spatial awareness and eye for shape and form. Without these, I'd be totally lost in the virtual environment, and my sculpts would definitely come out unrealistic. The software I'm using is Autodesk Fusion 360. This program is great because the interface is really intuitive and it's not too difficult to learn, but it definitely took a lot of trial and error. But once I got the hang of it, I was able to move pretty quickly. One of the ways that it works is you draw 2D shapes and then extrude them into 3D ones. There's other methods, but I like this the best since it's super simple and fast. Once you have those 3D forms, you can modify them in various ways. You can round corners, stretch and pull them, all kinds of neat stuff. Fusion works off of numbers, and this allows me to change angles or dimensions really easily. This was especially helpful when I was doing very subtle changes on the handle, as you can see here. The hands of the top were the hardest part for me to figure out. I wanted them all to look similar in size, even though they're in three different poses. It took a couple of tries before I created something that somewhat resembled a hand. Eventually, I realized that I needed to first make the palm of the hands, since those will always be the same. Using the palms as a foundation, I could now tackle the design of the fingers. I needed to make them poseable, so I created finger sections using multiple cylinders. Fusion allows you to rotate and position objects using other objects as a pivot point. I realized that I could use spheres as these pivot points in between the sections to give them maximum flexibility. I could now bend the fingers into the proper poses for each of the hands. Once I got one finger looking right, I could duplicate it to make the other ones. My previous tops all had hands with the palms facing inwards. That's just how I first envisioned it, but that formation had a slight flaw in that it hid the fingers making the hands harder to tell apart. Then it dawned on me that if I had the hands facing outwards, the fingers would be clearly seen. It's a very subtle change, but it makes all the difference. I feel kind of dumb for not realizing it sooner. But here are all the hands fully modeled. I probably spent the most time on them, but it was definitely worth it. Now that the body of the top is finished, I can work on adding extra details. I wanted to go for a construction slash excavator look, kind of like my previous design, the mecha top. Here I'm making a helmet. I create one side first with all the details, and then I mirror it and combine both parts to complete the helmet. You know what they say, safety first. Now for the face. I kind of cheated here and I used Adobe Illustrator to draw the outlines of the eyes and mouth and then imported those vectors into Fusion. I extruded those vectors into 3D shapes and then used a boolean operation to cut them out of the face. Although you can draw shapes in Fusion, the process is a little rigid and not ideal for character design. Illustrator is better for that, so I decided to use it here. Here is the finished 3D model of Dig Top. I added drills to make it more like a mining character. I'm really digging this design. <laughs> okay, sorry, I just had to say that. But not bad for my first digital sculpt. I was pretty excited that I could pull this off, so I also made a ninja top. Complete with ninja stars and a forehead protector. Just a little nod to an anime I used to watch. Oh, and did I mention that there aren't just two new tops, but three? That's right, say hello to Pirate Top. Check out those cannons. I was listening to the Pirates of the Caribbean soundtrack while making this one to really get in the mood. It's hard to decide which one is my favorite, but I guess it'd have to be Dig Top since it's my first successful 3D printed toy. You already saw the actual print of my first tumble top, but I ordered that one first just to make sure that everything worked well, and then I ordered the other two. I got my prints from Stratasys and they have an online service which I'll link to below if you want to try them out. But I'm very impressed with their quality, and by how much bubble wrap they used. Although it was a little overboard, I'm happy that they wrapped them so well. The prints came out really well and I would totally recommend using their service so definitely go check them out. 
In the next video, I'll be taking these 3D prints and sanding them smooth. Then I'll be making molds of them to cast the actual resin parts. Here's a little sneak peek. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you'll subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for the next ones. Find out more about my work on my website or through my social media accounts. Until next time.